Meisner corpuscles, also known as tactile corpuscles, are one of the major sensory receptors found in hairless skin. In this scene, I'll give you my visual mnemonic to help you remember the structure and function of Meisner corpuscles, so you'll be ready for test day. When it comes to Meisner corpuscles, only one thing comes to mind, mice. Get it? Meisner corpuscles? And this scene definitely has mice. Just look at this one here. Once you see the mice, it's impossible not to say Meisner as Meisner. And speaking of mice, I'm here in the basement to check on my mice traps. And looky looky, what do we have here? Shh. Seems like the mice have found this trap. But this mouse is a bit weird. It's got no hair. Maybe it's one of those naked mice that escaped from the science lab or something. Anyways, this naked mouse shows us a very important feature of Meisner corpuscles. They are found on hairless, also known as glabrous skin. A hairless mouse for hairless skin, right? For those of you looking to go the extra mile, Meisner corpuscles are found in the papillary dermis of glabrous skin. Again, the papillary dermis is the most superficial layer of the dermis, characterized by finger-like projections or papillae into the epidermis. This superficial location is ideal for sensing light touch or other light stimuli which don't get transmitted that deep into the skin. We'll talk about the exact sensations detected by Meisner corpuscles later in this video, so don't worry too much about them for now. Anyways, my basement has a lot of mice, and I've learned the best bait to tempt them. Yep, it's these wafer cookies. <laughs> I guess my mice have quite the refined palate. By the way, this wafer actually helps me remember the structure of Meisner corpuscles. You see, Meisner corpuscles are made up of many layers of laminated discs, which stack up kind of like a wafer cookie. The movement of these lamellae nudging past each other opens sodium channels, which in turn creates action potentials and the conduction of nervous impulses. These nervous impulses are conducted down A-beta nerve fibers, you know, the fast myelinated nerve fibers used by most sensory receptors. So now that you know how Meissner corpuscles work, let's talk more about their exact function. Our mouse seems a little bit suspicious about finding this wafer cookie here in the open. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while, so maybe the mice have gotten a bit smart. See how this mouse is lightly nudging the wafer cookie? This light touch can help us remember that Meissner corpuscles detect light touch. One common example given is the sensation on your skin as you put on a soft cotton t-shirt. Or maybe you can think of the sensation of lightly nudging a wafer cookie to avoid setting off a mouse trap. Whatever floats your boat, you know. In addition to light touch, Meissner corpuscles are also important in detecting position. See how this mouse is paying a lot of attention to the position of the mouse trap as she lightly touches the wafer? Yep, she's sensing the position of the trap, which helps me remember position sense. Afferent nervous signals from Meissner corpuscles are important for position sense. And she's right to be concerned about that trap, after all. Wow, that trap sure moves quickly. By the way, this quick moving trap helps me remember that Meissner corpuscles adapt quickly. Wait, what? What does that even mean anyways? Well, quick adapting sensory receptors require a constantly changing or dynamic stimulus to continue conducting nervous impulses. In other words, with slower or non-moving stimuli, the Meissner corpuscle will initially sense them, but will quickly stop conducting nervous impulses after it adapts. In context, this means that while Meissner corpuscles are responsible for the feeling of putting on a soft cotton t-shirt as it brushes across your skin, they stop sending impulses once that t-shirt stops moving. Static touch is the job of other sensory receptors like Merkel discs, which is the subject of another video. You should check it out sometime. For now, just remember that our mouse has to adapt quickly to stay clear of the trap. Run, Meissner, run. Now to make sure you've mastered the facts behind Meissner corpuscles, let's recap. Meissner corpuscles are found in hairless skin and are made up of layered discs. They are responsible for the sensation of light touch and also contribute to position sense. Importantly, Meissner corpuscles adapt quickly, which means that they require a constantly changing or dynamic stimulus to continue conducting impulses. Alright, now we're actually done with Meissner corpuscles. Looks like the mice got away this time. I guess we can split this leftover wafer cookie now. Mm. After all this studying, we deserve it, right? I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.